Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to work on number 114 on the FTC K6 General Knowledge Practice Test. It's a good problem to review some um, basic skills with algebra and algebraic graphing. Alright, so here it goes. Which of the following ordered pairs is not shown on the graph? And it gives us a graph and it gives us a whole bunch of ordered pairs. And let's now review the core ideas here. First, we're given a graph, it's on a coordinate grid. So we're going to identify the x and the y axis. The x axis, we're going to usually consider the horizontal axis, and the y is going to be the vertical axis. So x is the horizontal axis. Sometimes we think of x, our horizontal axis, as um, our input, and we can think of our y as our output. And then if we get more um, more advanced, you know, we'll think of x as our domain, and we'll think of y as our range. But for now, just think of x and x is input, y is output. Then we have these points that are on this graph. I want to um, find the ordered pairs. That means how would I how would I name this point? Well, the way we do ordered pairs is you first you identify the x input and the y output. So here I go over, looks around 3, 3 for x, and I go up 4 for y. So this point here I could represent as through x is 3, y is 4. And always when you whenever you write um, whenever you write an ordered pair, you always put the x input for, you always put the x value first. So I think, you know what I'm going to help me do to help organize my ordered pairs? I'm going to create an input-output chart. So here's my input-output chart. When x is 3, y is 4. That's one of my ordered pairs. And guess what? That one's A. Well, now we're looking for the one that does not show. So let's just continue with this. 3, 4. Practice this now. I want you to practice this. What's this one right here? Pause me. Do it on your own. Do all these on your own, because I'm going to do them real quickly. I don't want you to watch me do it. No one likes, that's not how you learn. You learn by doing, so try it on your own. So you pause, you unpause me now. You pause me, now you unpause me. This point here looks like x is 5 and y is 6. So I would do 5, 6. I go over 5, up 6. And this one here looks like I go over 7 and up 10. And this one here, I go over 10 and up 14, so 10, 14, and this one I go over 12, and up what, 15? And I could write all these, I could write all these on my input output chart. So uh, I definitely have 5, 6 when, when x is 5, y is 6, and uh, I have, uh, so I got this one here, and I got 14, 10, no, no, I didn't get 14, 10. I have I have um, seven eleven right. Oh, did I make a mistake here? Yeah, I guess I did. I guess this is more than ten because it's a little higher than ten. So, see, I'm glad that I I'm glad that you know I caught that because it's easy to make mistakes like that. All right. Um, so all these ones are ordered pairs. They work. And when you write ordered pairs, you always write the x coordinate first, then the y. This last one, 14, 10, that's like this. When x is 14, what is y? And we don't have that on our grid. So that's actually the one that's not here. And it looks like they, they, flipped, um, they, they flipped this point here. So very easy to make a mistake. If you were thinking 10, 14, you saw 14, 10, you might pick, you might not uh, catch this. Okay, team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, have a wonderful day. Take care, team. Bye-bye. Hi, team. I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.